Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming the intro to quite an exciting video to start some new content on the channel. Okay, so I've got some updates for you, a little bit of a chit chat and then you'll get to see what's been going on in my life basically. I've decided to start this little like thing for myself and on my channel called the first day of the rest of my life. And that day, is the day I handed my dissertation, which is officially a week today, as today is the 3rd of September. And in a week's time, I will have handed in my dissertation. And in 10 days time, I will be starting my new job. Basically, what has been happening? What has been happening, Rosie? So, I have quit my part-time tutoring job. Um, I still have a week left, but I handed in my resignation three weeks ago, and this is what happened. Okay, so I'm about to hand in my resignation for my part-time job I've had for the last five and a half years but I've never handed in a letter of resignation before I've never not had a job this is really nerve-wracking I mean I've already accepted the PGL job so I need to do this ah, I can't believe I'm gonna do it oh, I'm so scared oh my god it's gone it's gone I'm actually a little bit emotional this is like the first day of the rest of my life I mean I might be being dramatic, um, but I've never left a job before. I've never not had employment, um, but it's my time to go and it's time for a fresh start. I have taken on a seasonal job with a company called PGL as an activity instructor. Um, so I'm finishing off their 2021 season um, and then with the possibility of being rehired for their 2022 season. I have applied for another job with another company, which I'm not going to name unless I get it. I don't know if I'm going to take it yet and I don't know if I'm going to get it. If I find out about it, you'll know later on in this video. I have also applied to put my dance work on some platforms and I'm looking for more platforms in 2022 to do this. I've also applied to be a volunteer at the Birmingham Commonwealth Games. Here's some clips. Random update. See, I get random like brain sparks. Um, last night I was having, if any of you graduates, postgraduates have this, I'm having a like postgraduate existential life crisis where I don't have a job right now and I'm applying. There's a job that I was supposed to hear back from on Mon like latest Monday, Tuesday. They said early in the week and I still haven't. So I'm making the assumption I haven't got the job. I'm gonna email them next Monday if I haven't heard anything. Anyway, I have been watching the Olympic Games and I've absolutely loved it. And for anyone, from the UK we had we hosted the Olympic the Olympics in 2012 and I remember my mum talking about the games makers so like the volunteers and I remember seeing videos about like how much fun it was and I love people and I love interacting with people and I love the vibe that happens at these events um so basically one thing led to another last night and I ended up applying to be a volunteer for the Birmingham Commonwealth Games in 2022 um I don't know if I'll get it because I have no real specialist skills um, that are useful for them but yeah I'll keep you updated if that happens and that's not till this time next year so whether I have a job or not I'm just gonna have to tell them well I'm volunteering yeah basically life is my oyster and I don't know what's coming anymore I know the six weeks of my new job and then basically come November my life is up in the air and I'm partly quite excited about it but also very nervous because I've never been in that position. I've always known like where I'm going to be for like a solid year at least um, but I am quite looking forward to like the not knowing and just taking opportunities like when and if they come. If any of you've been here a while you'll know I have like massive hiatuses and I basically upload if and when I want when I feel I'm in the headspace, when I feel like I've done something interesting, when I think it's relevant um and for me like this is quite a big life moment so I sort of wanted to like document it um because I just make the videos for myself this channel is just for myself and if people watch then fantastic thanks for watching if you are uh, I hope I'm partly interesting <laughs> um and partly entertaining so yeah so this video is what I'm calling the prequel to the first day of the rest of my life because like I said my dis handed is next week so up until this point and going over to next week I have been and will be documenting just some little highlights of what's been happening um so that's what you're going to see in the rest of this video and then going forward you're just going to see like bits and bobs of what I can film of you know what it's like to be a postgraduate like with no idea what the hell she's doing 
So yeah, I just sort of rambled there. Don't really know if any of it made coherent sense, but we'll find out when I edit this together. Hope you enjoy this little journey with me. I'm, like I said, very excited, but also very nervous. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video, seeing what I've been up to, the highs and the lows, and yeah. Thanks guys. Okay, so the first and the main thing was, yes, the filming of my dissertation. And this was just something really fun I decided to play with, with the mirror. I then experienced my first nightclub in London. We went to heaven and it was honestly so awesome. Best night out I've ever had. And I even walked home barefoot. Okay guys, so it is quarter past one in the morning. I've been fucked over by a situationship and my flatmates I'm tired. Are, are walking me and gonna sit outside the gym whilst I punch slash squat slash hip thrust my anger out. We didn't want her to punch us, you see. So <laughs> because honestly, us. I literally wanted to cry myself to sleep. So I was like, no, I'm going to let it out through exercise at quarter past one in the morning. I'm very tipsy. I've had many, many vodka lemonades. And I'm very tired. <laughs> Just been out for coffee slash tea with... um lovely girl called Lauren who I met sort of over Instagram and on my way to meet her I um, got collared by um, you know those people that stand on the street he's from the British Heart Foundation um, and I was like oh no I'm just too friendly I go off and say hi to these people when I talk to them ended up just chatting and um, he basically ended up chatting me up <laughs> and um, he gave me a snapchat so um, I'd say a successful morning <laughs> So guys, angle change up. Uh, I thought I'd just interject because I just had something on my mind like in the last five minutes. Um, I just went to put some recycling down. Um, if any of you haven't been following me, I'm living in student accommodation, so it's like a big recycling area. And I just was like walking through the like quad and I was like, oh my God, I've been here for a year, pretty much. Like the day I move out, it will have been like 51 weeks since I moved in. And I'm like where has that time gone like every every year of my life feels faster and faster and when I talk here I'm usually talking academic year because I've lived my life in education um but like this year in terms of the academic year so starting September 2020 but actually particularly from January 2021 has genuinely been the fastest time of my life like, I've literally blinked and it's happened. Like, it's actually scary. Like, I think back to things that will have been happening, like, a year ago. And I'm like, oh, my God. So much shit has happened in the last year. So much has changed. I've changed so much. I feel like I'm a new human. <laughs> it's actually wild. Like, it's exciting. But it's scary that life is moving faster and faster every year. Um, I am intrigued to see what it's like not in education. It might slow down a bit, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to like share that life moves fast. And yeah, I genuinely like... If you told me a year ago where I was going to be and what I was going to be doing come the first day of the rest of my life in... It's literally like two weeks. Oh my God, two weeks tomorrow I'll be starting my new job. WTF, huh? Huh? This video will be up. Oh my God. Like that's... What? Um, I forgot what I was in the middle of saying before I had that realisation. <laughs> Hi guys. Real check-in, just a second. Oh, I'm like emotional but you know when like you're not sure why well I do know why but basically I've just helped him, my flatmate Luke move out and it means I'm like basically the last one like I'm the only one left in the flat so like my flatmate Emmy's like here and there but she's not really around um so it's just me and like I just had like I had it yesterday and you would have seen that but I've had like a second like oh my god like everything's changing overwhelm wave 
um, like two weeks today, I'll be at my new job. And it's just like, it's just scary. Oh my God. Really, pull yourself together, man. Like, I'm not sad. I'm not sad, actually. Like, I'm just, I think, overwhelmed by everything. I'm excited to have the flat to myself, actually, for, like, some, like, a week or so, like, to get this disc done. And I'm feeling a really positive mindset. So, like, I've written some discs this morning. I'm going to go do my, like, food shop. So I've got food to last me the next, like, week or so. I've got a couple of works just this evening, then I'm um, going to go to the gym and I'm going to have this habit of going to the gym every evening, I think, to, for something to do, because we would usually like sit and watch something. But it's just like, I guess it's just a bit scary, like, yeah, everything's changing and I'm one of these people that like absolutely loves change, but change is also very overwhelming for them. There are moments where you go, oh, shit, <laughs> like... Ah. Um, and this is one of those where I'm having realisational moments and I filmed for as long as I did yesterday and so you're going to get a very chatty this is going to be one very chatty video but I wanted to be real about like what I'm thinking and feeling and then yes, after all that crying she had her own dance party in the flat honestly I had such a great time in the flat on my own I just danced most evenings round cooking in the kitchen and honestly it was such a vibe something I've actually done um, a lot in the last couple of months is take myself to the cinema by myself because I don't feel like you need to go to the cinema with anyone because you're just sat there watching a film. Um, I just thought I'd tell you because I've just come out of watching Shang-Chi. Um, it was released today, well midnight like last night and it was sick. It was sick. I've put it on my Marvel list of things I've watched. Um, yes, so this is your sign to take yourself to the cinema. I actually then took a detour by the river and the bridge over the river, the butterfly bridge, was lit up so beautifully that I decided to have a little groove and a little dance and film it for you. So enjoy. The river is honestly just like my favourite place um, when I'm in Bedford. So yes, there was a lovely sunset and there was also uh, the day before a really random like party in the park thing that i stumbled across so i got myself um, a picnic and i sat and watched okay so today is the day before i move out um i'm currently filming a moving slash packing vlog and that is basically just me going right guys here's an update oh look at the mess i've made but um i'm not sure if that's going up before or after this video so either or it'll be on my channel but my mum has actually just messaged me, which is really sweet, um, and I wanted to talk about it in this video. Because for anyone that, like, has lived away from home and then has to move back home again, like, I find it hella tough because I love my independence. Like, I've been living here for a week by myself, and I know it's only a week, but I've absolutely loved it. And obviously, I've lived away from home, like, for the last four years, like, sporadically, but most of the time I've been away from home. Um, and I love it. And I find moving home very difficult because like I eat very different things to my parents now. I'm just used to like having control of like the place I'm staying. So um, I'm not living at home, as you guys will know, for the first sort of six weeks. Like I'm moving back for a few days and then I'm going away for six weeks. But basically for when I get back, mum has like cleared me like a cupboard or like a big shelf in a cupboard for like my cupboard stuff. And then like an area in the fridge and freezer for my fridge and freezer stuff because like I eat because I eat very differently to them now like, I make like pasta dishes like noodle dishes like I'm one of those like throw everything in a pan kind of things whereas they have like meat potato veg which is absolutely fine that's I have nothing against what other people eat but I cook with less meat now and like I use a lot more carbon ingredients I use like seasonings and spices and stuff um but I actually just basically just wanted to share that I thought that was really sweet of my mum because she and my dad are fully aware of like 
how freaked out I am about moving back home and not in like a really dramatic way but I didn't really I wanted to like basically move straight out like into my own place but like money wise like job wise that is just not happening and I'm accepting of that but the fact that like my mum and like my dad have like offered to do that for me I think it's just so sweet and literally it melts my heart and like makes me so much more comfortable with going home um so if any of you like have that problem like just see like see if your parents have like a spare like it's just a shelf in a cupboard like it's not even the whole cupboard it's just, like one shelf but it's enough for like basic cupboard bits like some pasta and all that jazz um see if they could do that because that might like help your mental state if you're in this position for some people they love living at home because they're exactly like they're like they uh love and get on and love being at home like I do but it's very different when you've like lived away and you feel very independent and I feel like I lose my independence at home and that's just and that's just the way life is I've gone on a bit of a ramble but I'm just saying my mum and dad are very sweet for basically offering to do that and I wanted to share that because I feel like it's very important and like it makes sense in this video but anyway I'm just bloody fly I'm just going to show you the state of what's happening right now. If you want to go and see how that's actually gone down, then head over to the moving vlog. I mean, it's literally just me checking in at camera, like I said, but we move. Hi guys, I'm just checking in. So today is Friday the 10th of September, which was going to be the first day of the rest of my life, which it basically sort of is. Um, so last night I had my last work shift with Explore, which was a little bit emotional actually. Um, it was really lovely that I had some really lovely kids. Um, but I completely forgot to film last night because I was just really tired from moving out. Um, so yeah, and then today I haven't submitted my work, but it's pretty much done. I've just sent it off for last minute feedback and I'll probably upload it when I'm away next week. Um, but I just need to make sure like everything is like up to scratch before I submit it. But it's finished. Like the film is finished and the essay is finished. So... I'm claiming it's officially the first day of the rest of my life and the first thing is I've just met my mum from work um where she works we're gonna pop over to sports direct to buy me some stuff for starting on PGL next week just some more leggings and stuff but two of her work colleagues have well it's one of her work colleagues' wife has baked me um some red velvet cupcakes to like like well mum asked her to as like a well done on like finishing my master's degree and like finishing uni and stuff so yeah it says my name Rosie with a little plain one um I'll lay them out when I get in and like get a proper like a proper shot for you but I thought that was so sweet because mum like usually does me balloons for things like when I graduate graduated last year I got balloons but balloons were just like they're just not my vibe because I can't do anything with them but cupcakes i can eat so i'm going to enjoy those um so yeah i just thought i'd have a little check-in with you and yeah it's the first day of the rest of my life guys so i'm in the process of uploading my video to youtube it's going to be unlisted um i've just got to put it into youtube um so that i can then send a link to my lecturer and i'm going to uh, send a link to anyone that participated in it um, I'm not going to upload it live because this is a piece of artwork that I've put a lot of effort and time into so I basically don't want to share it until I can share it on like proper platforms and I guess earn some money from it as an artist. Now I haven't picked the best position to finish this uh, video in but I just feel like this is the best place to end it because I'm uploading my film. Yes, I haven't uploaded my document in this, but that's just because I'm waiting for the final couple of bits of feedback just to make sure it's actually written correctly. Um, but that will be done by the end of the week. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'm very excited for the next few months of my life. Um, it's going to be a crazy one. So yeah. Um, oh, update, if any of you have been waiting this whole 20 minutes to find out about that job I mentioned at the start of the video that I wasn't going to say who it was for, guess what? I'm also still waiting to find out. It's a very long wait process. Um, but I will update you in later videos to let you know if I get it or not. I probably won't, but we move. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you are as excited as I am for the next stage of my journey. You probably actually don't care, but I am super excited. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.